What is up, everybody? How are you? Happy Friday. Uh, my name is Henry Eisenstein. For those of you who do not know who I am, I'm a local uh, commercial real estate investor, real estate broker, and a mentor to many. I make this content because I just love giving back. I want to make sure you guys can make 2024 and all the years to come the best year yet. Today, uh, as always, we come to you live every single Friday uh, to make some commercial real estate cold calls. So if you guys are interested in learning the game of commercial real estate, Stay tuned. We're going to be hitting the lists hard today. Let's have some fun. So I'm finding the list real quick. Let me see what I can jump on. Let's see. Uh, let's try this list here. Let me call on a list out of New Jersey, multiple different asset classes, people who bought properties. This has actually been a very interesting list for us. So um, let's see what we can make happen today and see if we can make any magic happen. And... Uh, Let's have some fun today. Again, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. I always appreciate that. See where people are tuning in from. We're going to be going for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half today. I'm out of New Jersey. As you can see, I'm not in my normal setup today. Um, but we made it happen within the last 10 to 15 minutes, you know, so I appreciate the team coming through today. Um, let's see what we can do. By the way, Max said he can do today. Uh, we're figuring that out. So uh, what's up, everybody? How we doing? Coming from North Jersey, how we doing? Gustavo, thank you for tuning in. Let me guys, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. I'm going to connect to the dialer real quick, so give me one minute here. And uh, make sure you, if you guys can hear me, if you can, put a, put a thumbs up in the chat if the audio is good. Please press the start button on your screen to begin calling. I want to make sure you guys can hear me properly because I got a different setup today than usual. Um, we're going to hit start and we're going to rock and roll today. All right. So let's rock and roll. What's up, Ryan? How are we doing? Thank you for tuning in today. We appreciate you. I'm tuning in from Jersey. We are in New Jersey today. It's a little cooler than I'm used to now that I'm in Miami. Had a wild morning, but we're making it happen. Hello. Yeah, hey, Ed. Hello. Yes. Yeah, Ed. My name is Henry. I was calling you about a building you have on Mill Street in Patterson. How are you doing? Good, and yourself? Doing fantastic. Thank you. So the reason for the phone calls, I'm a local investor in the area and I'm looking to move some money for a 1031 exchange. And I was just giving you a call to see if you uh, would be totally against selling the building. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not looking to sell. Gotcha. Do you have any other properties you might be open to selling? I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, man. So I'm just trying to move some money around if you have something you'd be open to. No, no, I don't. No. All right. So I'm just curious. I'm like, I do, no, 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 no need to apologize. Do you happen to be open to, you know, buying properties locally? Like if I had a great, uh, you know, nice multifamily deal or a nice deal locally, would you be open to looking at it? Sure. Sure. Okay. What kind of deals do you typically yeah, look yeah. for? What, what kind of deals do you typically look I for? Well, I wasn't really looking at it at the moment, but if anything, it would have to be a multifamily. Multifamily. Okay. Uh, I mean, look, I do hold a, 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 I'm an investor, but I'm also a broker in the area. You know, we find a lot of off market properties. So if you're, uh, you know, you said you're looking for multifamily, what kind of multifamily deals do you look for? Like it could be like a two family or three family or something like that. Got it. So smaller multifamily. Got it. Okay. And uh, only, yeah. only in Patterson or do you look other places? No, I'll, I'll look at other places too. Okay. What areas do you like? I'm not, I'm not confined to that. Um, anywhere. I like anywhere. Anywhere except, um, I really don't want to go into Newark, though. Just not in Newark. I understand. <laughs> Just not Newark. I um, know. Okay, so then... Um, <laughs> only, only because I'm uh, I'm unfamiliar. Okay, so well, what, what are your, like, top three favorite towns? Patterson, what else? Like I said, it could be, a, a, it could be within, like, half hour to an hour radius, but I'm going to stay away from Newark. <laughs> Got it. So half hour plus. Yeah, it could be. It could, yeah, it could be. It could be in central, central Jersey as well. Got it. Okay, so a half hour plus a half an hour to an hour from Patterson. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Um, okay, and then uh, you said two to three families, right? 
Yes. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the place would have to have a, at least a driveway or something. Because that, the, the two houses that I have now don't have driveways. Okay. And I, I find myself just double parking all the time. All the time. Okay. Well, listen, Ed, I will, uh, if I have anything, I'll make sure I kick it your way. Sounds like a plan. All right. Not a problem. Thanks. Thank Bye. you. You got it. Okay. Take Bye. care. Bye. 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 We got one little buyer lead. Then we're going to move on. One little baby buy a lead. Yeah, I'm coming, uh, calling out of New Jersey today, so I wonder how close we are is accurate. Um, yeah, let me know where you guys are tuning in from all over the world. People tune in to the commercial real estate cold calling session today. Um, so I'm always interested. In Hello? Yeah, hi, I'm sorry. I was looking for the property owner of a building on uh, 66th Street in West New York. Yes, who are you? Yeah, hi, uh, Carol. My name is Henry, and uh, I'm a local investor in town. And I was just calling to see if you'd be totally against selling the building. Oh, really? Belong to my kids. Oh, it belongs to your kids. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Do you think if we got them the right price, they might be open to selling? I doubt it. You said you doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Is there another property that maybe you own that your kids don't? And she hung up on me, people. It's okay. Tuning in from Long Island. How long do I plan on co-calling today? Probably an hour. Probably an hour, maybe two. Depending on how many people we can get tuning in today, we will uh, we'll go for a little bit longer. Hey, Jen? Hello? Yeah, hi, Jennifer? Yes. Yeah, hi, Jen. My name is Henry. I was calling you about a property up on 7th Street in Patterson. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. So I was calling you today because I'm a local investor here in town and I was calling to see if you'd be totally against selling the building. Um, do you have a, you've driven by there? I have driven by there, yes. Mm, yeah. The two tenants upstairs, they've been there for like 20 years. They only pay like $1,000 a month. Okay. The store downstairs is a hot mess. <laughs> Okay. A hot mess. I understand. Um, so what kind of price? I'm being honest. No, no, no I appreciate the honesty, and, and obviously I'll, I'll do the same um, here. So. I'm, upside, I, I'm upside down. I'm upside down with that building. Okay, so where do you um, feel like you need to be in order to get something a, done? I got to check what the payoff was. Let me see. Because, you have like a um, ballpark? Let me just look it up. Okay, sure. Because I, I was trying to refi a few properties. Hold on. 77. Oh, let me see if this is with this other set. You know, because if I was able to, cause if I was able to get you an offer that, you know, clears you, uh, you know, of the debt, I mean, maybe we can get something done. Yeah, I'm just trying to see. I'm trying to see who is my lender for that one, because if it's um, this one particular lender, I'm I'm going to litigation with them because I was trying to get paid off and get rid of some properties, and they just weren't cooperating. Well, that's fun. So I'll just is this your cell phone? If I text you, or you yeah, this is back? this is my cell phone, so you can text me at any time. I'm guessing this is yours. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll see what a what are the property like what what do you guys usually pay for door? Um, I mean it really depends. I mean obviously like you know you were saying like you know if a property needs a lot more work, um, you know obviously we'll have to you know calculate the and add in the renovation budgets and things like that. But if it's you know nice and updated, and I have I have yeah I have a six unit that is four bedrooms each. How much um, would you need for that? Yeah, like I'm more like on the retail side with that, like because that one is in good condition. Uh, it's got a big yard. It's got four garages in the back. The garages are beat up. They just need like a new roof and new doors if you wanted to rent them out, or you could just you know bulldoze it and just leave the backyard like flat. How much would you? Need? It's okay if you want. You need no, like near one, Like one one is one one is like my ideal number. Okay, what do you? Um, obviously, and I can give you the address. You could drive. You could drive by there. Sure. Go ahead. What's the address? Uh, 
Actually, hold on. Uh, let me just make sure I got Warren. a pen that works. Also in Patterson. Okay, and then um, do you happen to have like a, a quick? Yeah, do a drive by. Yeah, you could do a drive by either like on Google Maps or whatever. No, that, that, that's easy. Uh, what you think. Do you happen to have like a, a rough idea of how much income quickly? I mean, like again, ballparking. It doesn't have to be. Give me one second. Okay, I'm sorry. What was your question? Just real quick, just is there a quick rough estimate like on income on this on this property? Yeah, it's about twelve thousand. Twelve k a month. Okay, and that obviously that's gross, it's right? It's a little. It's a little under twelve thousand. You um right now you can you can get a you can get a little bit more if you evict like let's say because some of them are paying sixteen hundred, and the way I get them to pay more is I charge them for parking. So. I'll charge him like one fifty per parking, Got so it, it kind of brings you up to like almost that eighteen hundred mark. But okay. if you was to like kick everybody out of the backyard, you could rent that whole backyard with the four garages. Yep. At least for twenty five hundred. Interesting. At the minimum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're bringing in like what? Like there's, Eleven. There's people who don't know. Oh. There's people who don't have anywhere to park their work trucks and things like that. That would pay. Yeah, I can imagine. And, and store like materials, yeah, yep. that they don't have to. Okay. I got gotcha. you. So then, uh, okay, got it. So you're looking for around yeah, one, one, is it like so? It brings in like a roughly eleven and a half grand a month, like conservatively. No, it's like eleven thousand nine hundred. Oh, eleven nine. Okay, great. Yeah, it's like almost twelve. Cool. So then, uh, and then uh, obviously, you pay, uh, do they pay any of their utilities, or do you pay everything? No, they pay all their utilities. We only pay for water. Okay, got it. So uh, only paying for water, taxes, and insurance. Okay, great. Okay. I uh, let me uh, let me get to work. I want to try to find something, and then if you can, just shoot me a text with your again. Like it, it doesn't need to be an exact. I mean, obviously, if you can find the exact number for your payoff on the other one, uh, maybe we could do a package deal for both. Mm. Okay. All right. No um, great. All right. I appreciate it. The other it, one I know I'm not gonna make any the other one I know I'm not gonna make any money on, so <laughs> well, I, I gotta see if the lender is willing to, you know, take less. Hilton, I mean, look, if you give me an idea of what, what you owe the lender, I mean do you have like do you have like a ballpark? I mean again, I'm not gonna hold you to it, but at least this way I can start running some. Gotta money. be yeah, I have no idea. I'm gonna be honest with you. Let me just let me double check. I don't wanna give you a number and then you're like, nah, never mind. Because if you're telling me I won't pay more than three hundred, just forget about it. Well, again, like I don't know, right? So you know, again, you know, maybe I I can't tell you off the yeah. stuff customers, right? So, um, you know, I'm definitely not like you know like that kind of person who can make a decision unless you like you were saying like eight hundred grand, and obviously I'm <laughs> obviously we're the wrong ballpark. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah, let, let me, uh, I'll run some numbers on that one. If you can just text me just a quick number once you get the payoff on that, and then I'll run some numbers okay. on the uh, on the six family, and uh, I'll do a drive-by there as well. Okay, thank you. You're the best, Jen. Thanks. Bye. All right, there we go. Not too bad. Two quick leads. Look at that, people. We got two quick leads. I mean, the first one was like nothing, but, you know, you know, buyer lead nonetheless. Um. Let's kick things off. Uh, we got some great leads, you know, right? We're happy with that. We're going to the next. Yeah, we just got a woman who um, desperately needs to sell a mixed-use building in Patterson. She's underwater on it. And then she gave me a six-family. Um, but she wants one one for the six-family, but it might be a 10K. Driver, you have called. It's not available. Please leave a message after the tone. We'll figure that out later. What's up, Scott? What's up, Matt? What's up, Cole? How we doing? How we doing? What's up, Ryan? Thank you guys for tuning in again. If you guys would like, drop some questions in the chat down below. Uh, I can answer your questions as um, as you'd like. Uh, I'd love to be able to support you guys in making this the best year yet. So 
Christina Caluso. Nobody's home here. Message for four zero eight. Cole saying, "What's up, Cole? I get it. We got Cole from Long Island, and we got Cole from from uh, Neptune. What's up, Rudy? How we doing? We got some good leads today so far. Hello, Desi Tenebruso. All right, sounds like a voicemail to me. We got some good conversations so far. We're having some fun. This setup is freaking fantastic. Thank you, by the way. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's, it's working out. We like it." Um, let's see what we can make happen today, people. Right now, I'm locked in for at least an hour. We got me for at least an hour. We got 45 more minutes minimum. We might go longer depending on how the conversations are going and what I got on my schedule. But I got a book. I got a full day today. I'm back in Jersey. I'm hitting it hard. Let's see what we can make happen today, people. Again, if you guys are new to the channel. My name is Henry Eisenstein. I'm a real estate investor, real estate broker, and mentor to many, and I just love making cold calls. That's your phone call. You can please not I'm not going to say It's not because I enjoy it, by the way. I want you to understand. It's not because I enjoy it. It's because it makes money. I love making cold calls because it makes me money. I actually, I'm not a, you know, I actually don't even like making cold calls. It's honestly just like one of those things that you just got to do, right? In this business, if you want to make a lot of money, if you, you got to generate a lot of leads, the way to generate a lot of leads is get on the phones. So uh, that's what I'm here to do. That is what I'm here to do. So by the way, I got my Starbucks here. You know, it's funny. I don't even know the last time I went to a Starbucks in, in Miami. We have these like little bodegas, you know, um, that I get like these little coffees. Like uh, like you're in Mexico, uh, these are little Spanish bodegas. It's awesome, right? We do that, or or you have these crazy, ridiculous coffee shops that they charge you freaking, um, you know, twenty eight, you know, twenty dollars for a latte. It's ridiculous. But I have not been to a Starbucks in a while, so it brings me brings me joy to have some Starbucks. Are you guys Dunkin' people? Are you guys Starbucks people? What are what what, what kind of people are you? Are we Starbucks? Are we Dunkin'? Are we, you know, are we random hole in the wall? Are we Pete's Coffee? Are we, what, what else is there? Hello, Stan? No. I was looking for the property owner of a building on uh, Continental Drive in Stanhope. Um, you're actually not calling that area. <laughs> Got it. Wrong number. My apologies. You're, you're calling Rockaway, New Jersey. Okay. No worries. Have a great day. Okay. Lewis says Starbucks all day. Henry, what dialer do I use? I use Mojo Dialer, MojoSales.com. Check it out. I don't make any money from them, but I've been using them for 10 years. I wish they gave me an affiliate link because I probably have gotten like 500 people to buy it. Um, that's right. Starbucks for the win. Rook, baby. All right. Rook's pretty damn good. Rook's pretty damn good. I think it's a like That's right. Talking about coffee. That's right. What's up, Max? How we doing? Thank you for tuning in. What else do you talk? Like everyone's like, the cloud hurry is unavailable. Everyone, you got to think about it. Like when you're doing a live stream, you're basically talking to yourself. I mean, obviously the the amazing audience and the people listening, right? But you're basically talking to yourself for two hours. So you have to make it fun and entertaining, right? Think about how interesting that is. Can you? Are you guys okay with being by yourself even for twenty minutes? Try try live streaming for two hours every Friday and figuring out enough things to say to an audience, right? So, uh, I, listen, this is, we're, we're, uh, we're cold calling live. We're cold calling live. We're trying to pick up some leads. We just got somebody who was underwater on a property in Patterson. So we're going to try to make some money there. She's also got a six family, which I think we can buy at a 10 cap. Now, the person you're trying to reach is I think we could buy it at a 10 cap. We'll see what we can do. She's got to send me some details. Um, talk about you, Max, huh? Should we talk about you? Yeah, we'll talk about my buddy, Max. Max, what we want you to do is we want you to get on the phone. Hello, Tom? Tom, can you hear me? I hear you smashing your keyboard. Nope, nobody home. 
He's just smashing phone numbers. So today, we are actually prospecting a lead list of people who have bought properties within the last five years for a steal of a price. So we can try to buy it for a little bit more money, see if they can make like, you know, 10, 20, 30% profit in a few years and see who wants to get the heck out. Let's see here. Let's see here. Hey, Mark. Mark, can you hear me? What the heck is going on today? We got a weird pickup right. Anyways, so um, really quick, I, I'm curious in the live stream chat. Okay, guys, listen, I, I appreciate you guys. We got people who said Rook, we said Starbucks. You got we got Alfred Coffee in Brentwood. Okay, I got to try that out next time I'm out in uh, the LA area. Okay, guys, I want. I'm curious. What is the what is the most interesting way that you met one of your clients? Okay, put in the chat box down below. What is the most interesting way that you met one of your investors, one of your clients, one of your sellers, one of your buyers, anything, right? What is the most interesting way that you met somebody? I want to hear true stories only. Do not stretch the truth. I want to hear what the most, I want, I want to hear what crazy story, and then I'll give you one of my stories, okay? So I'm curious, how did you meet your clients, Okay. Did you meet them randomly at a Starbucks or at an Alfred's coffee? Or did you meet them cold calling? Or did you meet them, you know, at a meetup? Hi, this is Holly. Please. How did you meet some of your clients? Tell me some of the craziest ways that you met clients. Sellers, buyers, investors, you name it. I want to hear about it. Professional partners. What's the craziest story in which you met somebody that you actually did business with? This is the interesting. I want to know the story, okay, where you met them. Um, and you have to have closed a deal with them, right? Like, it's like, you didn't just meet some person like, oh, you know, we met on a plane. Cool. No, but I want to know like where you met somebody and then you ended up closing a deal. Okay. Hello, Wayne. Thank you for calling check and go. I'll call check and go. What the heck's a check and go? Let me know where, the craziest way that you met somebody that you ended up closing a deal. Oh, look at this. Cole has got a deal. In Las Vegas. He's a Jersey guy. He's got a deal in Las Vegas. And he's reaching out to Scott in the live stream chat to see if he's got any buyers for Las Vegas. Because, of course, Scott does because he's in Las Vegas. Which, by the way, if you're in Las Vegas, Scott, this is for you and anybody in the Vegas area. I'm actually speaking at an event. Um, I'm speaking at an event on Monday. John Cordero with John Cordero. I'm speaking at an event on Monday. And I would love to see you there. Okay. Uh, the venue, by the way, I'm pulling this up real quick. By the way, if you'd like to join me in Las Vegas, it's actually in the description down below on YouTube. Make sure you buy your ticket ASAP. It is at the Myron's Hall in the Smith Center. It's in the Smith Center on Symphony Park Avenue in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'd love to see you guys there. Um, I'm speaking, uh, you know, at an event there. Love to have you guys tune in. Uh, it's like a $50 ticket, 49 bucks or something like that. But if you guys are buying it, Hello, John. I know you must have the wrong number. Sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. Have a wonderful day, my dear. Um, so if you guys buy the ticket and you guys are coming, you're coming to see me, we'll take care of you. We're going to do some fun stuff after the event. <laughs> all right. A big group of us are all going to go out after the event. If you guys are interested in tuning in, I'd love to see you guys there. Um, it's crazy. I'm literally flying in Monday night and red eyeing out Monday night because um, I have to be back in Miami for Tuesday morning um, for a couple of things that we have going on. So anyways, I would love to see you guys there. Make sure you buy your ticket ASAP. Hello, John. Please leave your message for. I will leave my message. So again, I'm curious. I want to hear some crazy stories. I'll give you some of my craziest stories of some where I met somebody. By the way, this, this goes to you, Jim. I want to hear it too. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Craziest place you ever met somebody that you did business with. Craziest place ever. I'm very curious, okay? how? What is the craziest way you met a client that you ended up closing a deal with? I'm very curious to hear this story from several of you guys. I'm very curious, okay? Because I'll give you some stories from me. I've met people that we've closed deals, not only cold calling, because of course, um, I've met people at coffee shops. I've met people in the sauna at the gym. Nice. Up at the gym. Up at 
now. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Who needs help selling a car wash? In the sauna? Oh, in the, in the gym. I like it. This this chair has got all the lean back. Available. At the tone, please record. So, anyway, so I'll give you a quick story. So, um, like seven or eight years ago, beginning of my career, um, I, ended up, uh, I had this crappy listing. I had the worst listing on the block. It was a beat up property. It was like a short sale. The guy, I'd never done it. Hello, available to take your call. So there, I had this. Okay, listen, guys, crazy story here. Okay, I had this deal the very beginning of my career. I was like 22 years old. Um, I hadn't made that much money in real estate, and I was like just trying to get my my footing. And um, this guy uh, from cold calling, I called this guy up, and he's like, I, I went through my script. I was like, Would you be totally against selling your property? Um, and he's like, Yeah, why don't you come by? We'll talk about it. We go to the property, and this guy, by the way, okay. This guy was underwater on his property and needed to short sell it. And he was bad. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know how, I don't even know what year this was. Like, I guess like 2016, something like that. Underwater on his property. Is this guy going to answer? No, it's a 607. Anyways, so he's underwater on his property. Crazy thing. Okay. Underwater on his property. Felt terrible for the guy. And I listed the property for sale as a short sale. To voicemail. And uh, way too much money, by the way, listed it for way too much money. But this guy who owned the building next door, the property next door, um, he uh, he calls me. Right, this guy, uh, this guy's name is Max, and he's like, "Hey, I'm an investor. I'm looking for houses." And um, he's like, "I'm looking for houses to flip. I you know I've, I flipped a few houses. Can you help me find some properties?" Um, and I'm like, "Sure." Yeah. So, anyways, we, we start we we start chatting a little bit. I, um, you know, we ended up meeting up, uh, talking a little bit, and uh, you know, getting to know each other. Hello. We are not available now. And uh, I ended up working with this wholesaler, right? Very, you know, pretty early on in my career, we ended up finding a couple of flip properties, right? So I ended up sending them to Max. Max buys them, he flips them, I sell them, right? I sell them to Max, so I make money on the front, and then I, you know, help Max list the property, and I sell on the back, and. Uh, we did this dozens and dozens and dozens of times and, um, you know, Max and then ended up becoming now one of my closest friends. I think, I think of anybody in my entire career, I don't think I've closed any more deals with one individual person than Max. I think, I think I have closed the most deals with this guy. Uh, he's become a dear friend. He's like a brother to me. Media Buffalo. And, um, it all came from, because I had some crappy, crappy listing that he called me on, right? Some crappy listing turned into be, you know, a network, a connection with a guy who's like my brother. Uh, he's one of the only clients I've actually memorized his phone number because that's how many times I've called you. Uh, so Max, if you're listening, um, I love you. Thank you for changing my life. I appreciate it a lot. And um, now Max is one of the, you know, he's a huge multifamily owner, owns thousands of units um, in several different states. He's an amazing investor, very smart. Um... Hello, Joe. Yeah, speaking. Who's this? Yeah, Joe. My name is Henry. I was calling you about a building on a McBride Avenue in Woodland Park. How you doing? Uh, I don't know. Nothing, I know nothing about what you're speaking about. You are speaking to a Joe, though, but okay. I don't know anything about what you're talking about a building. Okay, so you don't own the building. Okay, got it. Do you own any other commercial properties? I just, uh, I'm going through a 1031 exchange. I was looking for a guy who owned a building in Jersey. You know, I don't know if you happen to own anything. I am not affiliated with all the stuff you mentioned, so please just take like that. I'll just I'll Where take you I'll take, take you off. Numbers, call me. I got you. I'll take you off the take list. Take me off the list. You got it, my friend. Thanks. I don't own any shit you're talking about. Nothing that I'm talking about. Okay. Cool. Nice. All right. Scott says, Cole. Some of my buyers also look at Phoenix, Texas, and Florida areas. Okay. Um. Yeah. Look at that. Look. We got Cole and Scott doing some business in the group. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I make the content. We got Cole, who's got a deal in Las Vegas. We got Scott out of Las Vegas, and uh, hopefully we got some. We're going to do some business. I like to hear that. We like to see it. We like to see it. Congratulations. That's what we look for. Let's see here. This is what I like to see, guys. By the way, real quick, okay? Up. We're going to say up or down, okay? We're going to go up or down by December thirty first year, okay? Who believes that interest rates are going to be up? 
Thank you for calling Teamsters Local. Who Teamsters believes Teamsters interest rates are going to be down? Carefully. Put in the chat box down below. I want to get your feedback. I want to see what everybody thinks, okay? You think interest rates are going to be up or do you think interest rates are going to be down? You can just give me an arrow up, down. You can just say up, down. You can say whatever you want. I just want to know, what do you think is actually going to occur by end of year? Hello? Yeah, hi. I'm sorry. I was looking for Joe, please. You got the wrong number. The wrong number. No worries. Have a great day. I want, I want to get your feedback, everybody. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think our interest rates are going to go up? Do you think interest rates are going to go down by December 31st of this year, end of this year? Do you think interest rates are going to be higher or lower than they are today? Okay. By the way, the five-year treasury, five-year treasury is trading at like the high fours right now. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick, actually, on my phone. Um, Five-year. Hello. Hey, Joe. Yeah. Yeah, Joe, my name is Henry. I was calling you about a building you own on McBride Avenue in Woodland Park. How you doing? No, that's not me, buddy. That's not you. Okay, sorry about that. Have a great day, my friend. You got it. Bye-bye. If you're wondering what kind of lead list I'm prospecting today, I'm calling a lead list of people who bought properties within the last five years for a very, very cheap price, and I'm going to try to offer them a little bit more money. Hello, this is Anthony. I am unable to take your call. That's what I'm prospecting today. Uh, we got people saying down, down. Uh, let's see. We'll see drop before this election. Okay. Love it. Lewis says, Henry, question. What did you gather here from cold, this from this cold calling session? Are they commercial owners? How did you obtain the list? So I, I have a, a software. Hello. I'm sorry. I have the wrong number. My apologies. One of my, late, one of my guys already called the list here. Oh, the, that guy before. I don't need to talk about so I have a lead, I have a software called Reonomy. Okay, Reonomy. If by the way, if you want a discounted price, you can just de, uh, you can email me at info at henryeisenstein.com. It's in the description or in the sliding chat thing in the bottom. Um, and um, what you, what we do is that um, we take a list from Reonomy. We export the lead list into a dialer. It's forwarded to voicemail. Okay, so we take a lead list from Reonomy. We export it. We throw it into Mojo Cells, which is a dialing so uh, software. Okay. And, um, we hit the list. We hit the list every single day. My team does, you know, thousands and thousands of phone calls a day, well, about a hundred thousand calls a month. And, um, that's how we, that's what we do. And we obviously are looking for property, property owners, commercial real estate, property owners who are looking to sell for fantastic prices. That's what we look for. Okay. That's what we look for. I uh, hope that answers your question. Lewis says, I believe rates will drop last quarter of this, of the year and the market will flood with inventory for a quick, uh, for a quick moment. Pete says interest rates are going to be up. Do I think Mojo Dialer is better than Red X? Um, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Mojo. Hello. Yeah, hi. I'm sorry. I was looking for the property owner of a building on Highway Nine in Woodbridge. I think you have a wrong number. We're in North Dakota. North Dakota. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. <laughs> have a great day. Okay. Thank you. See you bye. Bye now. A wonderful, nice woman from North Dakota. We like the energy. We have one good lead so far today, guys. One great seller lead today. Uh, Lucas says, are the calls to gain listings or to actually buy the property? Hello, Ryan? No Ryan here. So. In voice messaging system. Two. So this is the way to look at it, Lucas. When you're prospecting commercial real estate, I don't have a specific thing I want to do with the property other than I want to find a way to sell the property and make some money. Okay. So that might mean me buying it. That might may, uh, mean that I'm going to lock it up in a contract and I'm going to flip the contract and I'm going to wholesale it or double close or, or assign it. It might mean that I off market broker it. It might mean that I broker the deal off market. It might mean that I list the property for sale, but I am not attached to any one of those options. My intention of the phone call Okay. My intention of the phone call is to call people up and then get it, get some information about their current situation. And then I can make some, uh, make some decisions based on that, that will best suit them and myself. Okay. That's my goal, right? So I prospect, I call people up. I see if they're open to selling, if they're open to selling and uh, I make them an offer, uh, to possibly purchase the property myself. Then based on their response of my offer, Hello, Ron. I'm sorry. I, I might have the wrong number. I was looking for Ronald Rudolph. Clearly not Ronald Rudolph. That sounds like a fake name. 
That sounds like a fake name. I call people up. I say, would you be totally against selling the property? They say, I'm open to selling. I make them an offer. Based on their response rate, I get to make a decision on how I feel I can best support them in the transaction, right? They're open to selling. They want X price. If they're willing to sell for a great price, I'll buy it. Not, not a, uh, you know, just a below a great price, I'll double close and wholesale the deal. If it's just below that, then I'll double, uh, I'll, uh, I'll broker out the deals to some investors. Right. I'll, I'll broker out the deal to some investors that we have off market. And if they want the highest price possible, I'm going to list that property for sale and call it a day. Finished recording. You may hang up. Right. It just depends. Just depends. Thank you for calling Escape Social Breeze. This is Carol. Let me have you. Yeah, hi, Carol. I'm sorry. I was looking for the property owner of a building on Atlantic Avenue. I might have the wrong phone number. Yeah, you have the sales office. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. Uh, my apologies. Have a great day. That's okay. Bye-bye. So, okay. Cole says, why do I prefer Rihanna me to CoStar? Um, I don't prefer Rihanna me to CoStar for anything else other than exporting a lead list. Okay. Rihanna is great for exporting a lead list. Okay. CoStar is secondary in that aspect. CoStar is the best when it comes to data analytics, right? If you want to get your data and analytics, pulling comps, um, I think it's fantastic, right? It's the, it's the best software out there. You, you know, you need, you need CoStar, right? Um, you know, I, I think CoStar is a fantastic software, Brian, Go ahead and leave your name number. but, but you don't need it. If you don't have if you don't have Rionomy, because like I, the the phone numbers on CoStar suck, okay, phone numbers on CoStar suck, and um, yeah, that's just my two cents, you know. And if you if you uh, if you just want a place to, hey Brian, hello, yes, yeah, hi Brian. Um, I was calling you just because one of my sales guys gave you a call. I believe it was yesterday, the day before, about the uh, property you have. Uh, the development plan. I think you said you had an LOI on it for yeah. two point one million bucks. How you doing? Good, good. Yeah, I was. Uh, it's fine. I gave him my email address, and I uh, was thinking yesterday I'd never uh, received uh, an email from him. Follow up. Got it. Well, then uh, look, he's one of my sales guys, so I'm going to give him a little smack on the head, and uh, we're going to figure out how we can get that done. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Everybody needs uh, a little, little something here. I know, I know. <laughs> All good fun. So uh, I'm gonna, I am uh, was just giving you a call because uh, I just wanted to touch base about this deal for two quick seconds if you had a minute. So um, I hear, I see that you're getting fully approved plans yeah. in May. Um, sorry. So yeah, I, I just, um, yeah, let me, uh, I got a transition out of um, what I'm doing. Um, yeah, yeah, just a minute. So, just uh, real quick. Okay. Yeah. So I saw that it was 57 units and you had an offer for 2.1. I have a guy, a partner of ours, we've done a lot of business with, um, who's interested in the in the um, in the portfolio. Uh, but I was just clear, I just wanted to clarify the 2.1 nets you the 2.1. That's not with a broker, right? Uh, 2.1 is not with a um not with any other broker we have um more of a handshake deal it's a guy that um a guy that i met who i guess is from the area who knows a lot of developers yeah um, i think he is an age i think he's a wholesaler who's the guy jordan so he has connected um art uh, Tony Hart. Tony Hart. Interesting. Um, yeah. I mean, so that, that that's who the LOI is from. You're saying? Uh, yes. Got it. Okay. Um, yeah. So so we. I mean, if 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 we close, you know, on that, you know, LOI, right? He would get, you know, some uh, commission. He would make that some commission. LOI, on. but we don't have necessarily an exclusive, you know, uh, right. Uh, uh, Exclusive 
we're not exclusive with him to sell his product. I understand. I understand. I mean, is that something you were like open to doing, right? Putting it, you know, being, you know, putting on the market, trying to get the best price possible, or are you just like being speculative now, or what are you thinking? So our ultimate goal is to build it. Um, we've, sorry, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out how to, how to explain. So, but we, you know, I've been putting this project, I've been putting this project together for a long time. Um, yeah. Our costs are pretty high. Right. Um, I've been I've been kind of assembling parcels since 2017, um, and our just just our capital our capital you know cost in this is, is just is just it's higher than it really really should be to make the numbers very attractive for us. Got it. So right now we're pretty much on the cusp of sell it, get out of it get our money and reinvest it somewhere else or, you know, find a way to build it. Um, do you feel like two, do you feel like the 2.1 million number is going to be something that you, you know, that, 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 uh, you know, makes it work for you financially? The, the 2.1 does. Okay. Um, the the 2.1 is pretty much our go, no go number. I understand. Um, lower than that. Yeah. Lower than that. We're, we're, um, you know, it's not as, I mean, you know, it's not as, you know, higher than that, we're, we're happy. <laughs> sure. Lower than that, we're not happy. Okay, so, and I'm curious, right? So, um, you would do a 2 1 contingent on full blown approvals? You still there? We're gonna. We were expecting um, a, a response from the board secretary okay. um, today or Monday. Sometimes today, Monday, Tuesday. Yep. Uh, with a date, and we're expecting to get on the May the May board. The May board. Got it. Okay. So again, it would be you know uh, totally okay with contingent on full blown like shovel ready approvals. Uh, the only difference between approvals and shovel ready would be uh, construction drawing which right um yeah right now we don't have and i don't i don't know if a buyer would would want us to i mean you know if, if the buyer would want to make any changes they would want to do it during the construction document right of course of course so i'm saying okay so you don't have so, that i'm yeah, saying so it's not we, shovel ready but it's fully approved construction doc, they could say listen we want to make changes you know i understand but I'm saying, so you're going to, it is going to be fully approved, but it's not going to be shovel ready. Right. Got it. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to get to work. Let me see if I can uh, get this guy to make some type of offer stronger, possibly than the two one or just about the two one number. I mean, if I came in at two one net to you, is that, is that acceptable? Is that something you'd be open to? Or is there anything else you're waiting yeah. on? Um, so I know it's, it's, it's funny. I mean, I, I, I really should be happy. I mean, <laughs> with, with that number, um, the only, um, the only thing is I'm, I'm talking to one potential partner who would come in and work with me to build it. Um, we would have to go for, um, you know, state financing um, ta tax credits and state financing. So uh -huh. the only, you know, the only, the only, the only issue is does, does that work? Does that work? All right. If, if it, if it works, it may be a good deal for us. If it doesn't work, yeah. then you so know, it's, when, it's, when are you going to have that kind of answer? Cause like, I, obviously like I'd love, you know, we'd love to try to do something. Um, but I don't want to spend and tell my guy, you know, to spend the energy and effort to try to put something together for you. And when you plan on building it yourself. Right. And then, yeah, I would say. I mean, and I and I completely get that, and I completely agree with you. Um, you know, if, if we were eager to sell, I mean, you know, I would say, listen, two one, and I'll sign tomorrow, right? Um, and, I, and I've done that before. <laughs> sure. Um, but I would say, I, I probably would need, you know, the like, we're going to have a call next week. Um, so I would say at least a week. Okay, that's fine. Um, to okay. see if we can pencil out terms, right? Terms that, that work. Sure. Um, if, if, if it, if it doesn't work, then, then at, at some point, you know, around that time, it's, it's going to be like, listen, let's just, you know, 
wash our hands and get out. And call it a day. Okay, uh, so then why don't we do this? Uh, point one, we're not. Yeah, we're not. I'm not making. A, I'm not making a lot of money. No, I, I understand. I understand. I'm happy. But I'm, I'm happy. I'm not losing. <laughs> sure. No, sure, sure, sure. We're, so. We're close. <laughs> I'll plan. I'll plan to give you a ring sometime this, you know, sometime around this time next week, and um, we can try to have a further conversation and see if we can put something together. You know, and I'll, I'll in the meantime, I'll have a quick, you know, kind of, a, you know, high level conversation in regards to uh, the details that you share with my sales guy, um, and uh, we'll put everything in front of him and see if I can try to get an offer to you next week and um, see if we can put something together. Okay. No, no, that works. And um, you know, if if you need anything, I mean, we do have we do have plans. We have, um, I you know, I've, I've been, I know a lot of pretty much every detail of this. Amazing. This project. Yeah, so, yeah. So, um, like I said, I'm gonna give my sales guy a quick smack and ask him to email you. Um, and then uh, whatever you can email back, <laughs> I would appreciate, and uh, we'll get it in front of our guy. Okay. No, well, sounds good. Okay. Um, appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Uh, follow up. Uh, what's your What's your name? My name My name is Henry. Henry. Yeah. Um, and you're speaking with. Yeah, a, I don't know. If so you're speaking with Cole. It's all right. I'll um I'm gonna give him a call right and, now to make sure. Okay. Uh. So you called and Cole in is gonna is gonna email me. Correct. Correct. Right. Yeah. I'll look out for it. And um. You're the man, Brian. Yeah, let's touch, touch base next week. Sounds good. Let's do it. Thanks so much. All right. Bye bye. Get Cole's dumbass in here. Get Cole's dumbass in here. Cole, we're gonna we're gonna smack him right now. Okay, Cole, get your ass in here. We're gonna get his ass in here, and we're gonna have a conversation. We just talked to this guy. I just spoke to freaking Brian. Like I gotta smack the hell out of you. I just spoke to Brian. He wants to sell this thing. I think yes. it's close to a deal. I know, but you didn't send him a fucking email. I sent him a fucking email. He didn't get your fucking email. But you didn't fucking respond to my <laughs> email him again. Text you got all the details. Text him and email him right now. Text him an email right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. Come on now. I love my guys. I love my guys. Anyways, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Anyway, so he'll he'll send that out and uh, we'll move along. I think the development deal is close. It's close to a decent deal. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi. I'm looking for Hiam, please. He's not home now. Not home now. Okay, thanks. Um. All right, guys. I mean, look, that was an interesting phone call. I think it's a good deal. I think it's an interesting deal. Uh, $2.1 million. Um, it was a decent price per unit, 50 some odd units. And, uh, you know, we'll see what we can do. I'm calling the Dermatology Institute of Southern California. I'm actually going to send my guy. Send the dev deal to my guy. All right. We're trying to make some, we're going to, my group chat, my team chat's going crazy. Let's see if we can make some money here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. And then for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, again, I'm a real estate investor, real estate broker, um, you know, based out of, uh, work out of Jersey technically, but I live in Miami. I'm back in Jersey for today, hanging out with the team, having a great time, checking in on family, seeing how everybody's doing. Then I'm flying to Vegas for a speaking event. If you're in Las Vegas, love to see you there. Um, and, uh, we're right now, my team has twisted my arm and we're running a special on our, uh, hello, Joe. This? My name is Henry. I'm telling you about a building you own on Springfield Avenue in Irvington. How you doing? Uh, good. What's up? Uh, so I was calling you about the building on Springfield and Irvington because I run a small investment company locally, and I'm going through a 1031 exchange. And I was just curious if you'd be totally against selling the building. 
Um, the one in Springfield. Yes, sir. Fourteen. Um, the one in Springfield is not. not I I was sold already. Okay. Sold what what property do you have that you might be open to selling? I'd love to try to see if we can make something happen. So nothing, nothing at the moment. Not looking at uh, selling anything now. You don't have anything that you'd be least open to seeing an offer on? Nope. Okay. I mean, it sounds like you're on the buy side. I mean, I do run a, a real a commercial real estate sales team in uh, in Jersey. No, not doing. No. Nothing. Uh, no action now. No action. Sitting tight, hanging tight. I understand. All right. That's it. Okay. Sounds good, Joe. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for your check out. Appreciate it. Yeah, bye-bye. On to the next. So, by the way, we're running a special. My team is twisting my arm. We're running a special on my, com oh, you know, my commercial real estate investment coaching program. So, if you're interested in getting 50% off of a 12-month program, um, let me know if you're interested in getting more information. You can schedule a call down below. Uh, you must be live on the live stream. You must be live here with me now. Hello, Hello. Raymond. Hello. Yeah, Raymond, my name is Henry. I was calling you about a building you have on 7th Avenue in Patterson. Sorry about that. Have a great day. Again, if you want to learn how to you know, generate massive amounts of leads, build a sales team, underwrite deals, make offers on deals, get equity in deals, buy deals, wholesale deals, make you know hundreds of thousands of dollars extra than you're making, bringing it to your bottom line, learn how to save money on your taxes. We will return your... The whole nine. If you want to learn how to improve your life financially and in the commercial real estate world, then DM me or schedule a call right away to see if you can get uh, you can get access. You can apply for the 50% off uh, special we're running right now. Um, and uh, you can schedule your call right now. Check it out. We've been helping, you know, we've helped uh, hundreds of students already. Hello. Yeah, hi, David. Yes. David, my name is Henry. I was calling you about a building up on Grove Street in Irvington. How you doing? No, you probably got the wrong number. I'm David. Okay, sorry about that. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye, bye. Okay, let's see here. A bunch of other again. If you guys look, we've helped hundreds of students make an extra six figures plus this year, and I'd love to be able to support you in doing the same thing. Get your code down below, automated voice messaging. and my team will be able to support you guys. Uh, again, fifty percent off right now for our twelve month program. If you're interested in checking it out, please feel free to down uh, down in the description down below. Schedule your call ASAP. It is only for people who are live on the live stream right now. Uh, so make sure you guys take full advantage of that. Um, yeah, can, you know, best of luck on the commercial real estate interview. That'll be awesome. Best of luck. Let us know how it goes. What property type is it? It was a, that was a development deal that we were just talking about. Um, Ryan says, is it worth it in getting Mojo single line dialer? No, I would always get triple line. Triple line for the win, baby. Yeah, Rihanna, me, listen, every software has wrong numbers. Rihanna me just has the most correct numbers, okay? Every, every single software on planet Earth has wrong numbers. Rihanna me just seems to me, at least, I mean, look, if you guys find software that has way better phone numbers, way better accuracy, please let me know. I'm very interested in knowing. Um, we're about we're test, we're testing new softwares all the freaking time. So if you guys know a great software, drop it in the chat. But look, Rihanna May just has the most best numbers, the most most the, the most amount of accurate numbers. Let's just say it that way. Lucas says, I noticed that you say goodbye if they say it's not them or they aren't home. Is there a reason you don't push to find out if they're actually the property owner? Because I'm saying, like, hey, I'm looking for John. Hello, Mohan. Yeah, hi, my name's Henry. I was calling you about a building you have on Main Street in Matawan. How you doing? Uh, good. How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, I was calling you uh, because one of my sales, one of my sales guys, was speaking to you recently about this building on Main Street. A few, uh, I think it was even yesterday or a few days ago. Um, uh, about you, your thoughts of possibly hearing an offer on the building? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to call you. Just uh, I run the company that he's a part of, so I just want to give you a quick call. Uh, ask you two quick questions. So um, did you occupy any part of this building or is this just a strict investment for you? Uh, we occupied one office. The office space there. Got it. Because the restaurant office, butcher shop. And so on. Okay. Got it. Um, okay. And then um, did you happen to have some type of number in mind? I mean, I have a partner of mine who's very interested in the building and I wanted to you know, try to come back to you with a strong number. Um, but I want to, you know, I also don't want to insult you. I want to make sure we try to, you know, try to get you the best price possible here. 
Uh, I do have a number, but you guys do your work and get back to me. Well, listen, I mean, can you at least give me some type of financials, like gross number roughly, and I can do the rest of the work? You said long-term triple net tenants, with, and, and he didn't. Uh, there's no income. No, I can't. You're, you're you not? Do, look at comps. Do, do your work. I'm, I'm just saying, if you want me to look at comps, which listen, I'm not. I don't want to piss you off. That's not my intention. I'm not here just to be some pestering guy trying to ask you a million questions. I'm saying I can look at comps and I, I can look at exactly what they should be renting for, and then I can make you an offer based on performa numbers. But then when I get the actual numbers and they're not the same, obviously, then we might have some trouble, right? So it's like, I mean, okay, if I, I appreciate it. I've been approached by a lot of a lot of people. Uh, it sounds like I, you've been called a hundred times. A, a lot. You guys are, you guys are uh, just fishing for information. So I mean, I, like, unless you guys have a serious buyer, introduce me and, and go through that kind of stuff. I'm not. Mohan, listen. I'm not here to. Mohan, just to like you, more. just like you, who owns a lot of property. So do I. I'm I'm the buyer with one of my partners. I can send you whatever you need. Uh, I'll sign an NDA, CA, whatever you need. I'm not here just. I, I don't care. I'm not here to fish for a listing. Right. Like I, I, you know, I hold a license, but it just makes it easier for me to transact deals. Right. I mean, look, I mean, look, if you want me to throw a number out there, you're going to hate me. Right. And if you want to talk face to face with the buyer, you can. I'll, you know, his name is Henry Eisenstein and it's me. I mean, you, you, you guys have already thrown out a number. It's ridiculous. So, what, what was the number uh, that you received? That. 750. Okay. So if that number is ridiculous, I mean, which again was based off of you know having zero income on the deal, right? And if I pull comps right now and you want two hundred dollars a square foot, um, is that even you know is that something you would be open to? Like if I was able to get to around two hundred dollars a square foot or somewhere in that ballpark? No. Okay, so then where what's the number you're looking for here? I, I don't want to just keep throwing you numbers. Make a real offer. I, I mean, I, I appreciate, I appreciate you're trying to do, but like, come to me with something real. I'm just saying uh, between I, you and I, how do I bring you something real if I have no information, which again, I have postar, I have comps, I have all these things in front of me. How can, how can I possibly come up with something real when I sent you an offer for 750, which is real by the way. And I know you think it's low because it is low, but obviously with no information, I'm basically just not trying to shoot myself in the foot. I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, I appreciate you're in a, you're in a better house. Like, that, that's not my, like, how I do it. Like, you can, if, if you're, if you're going to come, like, come properly, introduce me, who you are, send me an email. I don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't deal with this kind of stuff. Like, I don't, I don't know who you are. That's fine. Listen, I'll, 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 I'll have my team. Like up the phone. Listen, you know I understand. Listen, like, you know, uh, I don't know how you find your deals. The way I find my deals is making phone calls just like this, having conversations, you know, man to man, just like this every single day. You know, and I understand it might be a little bit unconventional. Um, you know, look, I'm a, I'm a local guy. I was, you know, I grew up in Freehold. Um, you know, I live in Monmouth County. I'm a local guy, just like you. You had mentioned that you wouldn't be open to a $200 a square foot number, which would put you at the three and one point three and a half million range, right? Um, is that accurate? Look, uh, we have long-term tenants, very little debt, cash flows very well. Okay. Like I, I, so then why, why don't we do this? Because like obviously I'm like probably... Very little, uh, very little motivation that to makes sell sense. to someone or to give information to someone. Then that, don't give me it. To, that, then uh, don't give it to me. It's okay. Buyer. Listen, right. first off, I am a real buyer. That's number one. Number two, I don't, I don't think I might be a real buyer at your price. Right. That, that, that can be completely different. Right. Um, right. Because maybe you want one and a half or two million dollars for a sixty seven hundred and fifty square foot retail building, you know, um, which I'm finding properties for, you know, one hundred to one thirty a square foot in Matawan. Um, so I probably won't be a great buyer for that. But I'm curious as somebody who's a seasoned investor like yourself. I mean, if I brought you another great deal that maybe I just can't handle right now, would you be open to buying it? Honestly, right right now, I'm not. Uh, I'm not like it with rates and stuff like that. Is I'm not really interested in, in expanding my portfolio right now. I'm just kind of sitting on my hands, waiting for waiting for things to change. So. Okay. Well, then why don't we do this? I I don't mind just shaking, you know, kind of virtually shaking your hand and saying, "Listen, I fully understand." And why don't we touch base in maybe six months to a year? Hopefully, the uh, 
right swing the other way. We both can try to see if we can do something together. Does that sound fair? Okay. I appreciate it. All right. Appreciate you back. Thank you. Have a good okay. Bye. He's not a real buyer and not a real seller, but you want to fish it out, right? That's what I wanted to fish out. I know he's not a real seller and he's not a real buyer. So instead of wasting my time and energy and effort trying to, you know, send him offers and all this kind of BS, this is exactly why I want to get a true answer, right? Let's see here. Thanks so much. Just got licensed and immediately wanted to get into commercial real estate channels like this are so helpful. You are so very welcome, my friend. Buy content like this just to support people like you. So keep crushing it. Good for you, man. By the way, if you guys have any ideas for content or ideas for uh, you know types of videos you'd like to see more on this YouTube channel, make sure you put it on the, in the description down below. I always appreciate the feedback. It means a lot. Um, we are going to keep going. Thank you for calling Sizzler Albany. For all text correspondence, text. That was good, right? That was fun. That was interesting. I mean, listen, man, like I just. Hello, Ignacio. I'm sorry, who's calling? My name is Henry. I was looking for Ignacio. Uh, uh, Rolana? Um, yeah, what is this one to? A building he owns on Liberty Street. I was calling him about some real estate. Okay. I'm sorry, you're cutting out. My, oh, Can you hear me? And she hung up. Whatever. Very insightful. Listen, man, I just like being direct. I like being direct. And you have to be confident. You have to be direct to these people, right? And you need to be able to pivot and adjust in the conversations, right? That's how you end up getting the highest conversion rates possible. Most salespeople sound like, uh, um, hello, uh, would you would you maybe just maybe consider selling your property? What kind of timid ass is that? Hello, Robert? Excuse me? I'm sorry. I might have the wrong number. I can't hear you. Okay. I was looking. I called her a timid ass. That's what I did. I called her a timid ass. <laughs> She's answering the phone the second I say that. You like that? Listen, it's a, like, listen, it, when, if you're timid, by the way, it just takes practice. You're only timid because it's like, because you don't know what to say. Right. Which is why, you know, that's what we try to teach you. To connect to general contractors. Right? It's what we try to educate people on is what to say, how to say it, how to shift in the, in the conversation because, and build your confidence. Right. That's what we try to do here. You know, I just called an 80 year old woman a timid ass. <laughs> that's pretty funny. All right, we're probably going to go for another 30 minutes and then we're going to rock. All right, guys, so we got 11 we're going to go at 11:30 Eastern, so stay tuned. The office is a Ferrari building. Stay tuned. Again, if you guys need support, we got um, you know, uh programs galore to support you guys, free content galore, whatever we can do to support you guys. And again, right now for people who are live on the live stream, if you want to learn how to make an extra six figures plus this year in the commercial real estate world, learn how to lead generate, learn to build your confidence, you know, uh, you know, get, get into the world of better routines, better consistency, you know, you know, feel better in your body, right. Uh, you know, have, build the systems, build your marketing out, you know, build out your presence on social media, learn how to underwrite deals, learn how to lead generate and build sales teams, right. If you want to know how to dominate in the commercial real estate world, Schedule a phone call down below. Let me be able to support you guys. We've already helped out hundreds of people make more than Hello. Me. Hey, Barry. Yeah. Barry, my name is Henry. I was calling you about a building you own on Main Street in Butler. How are you doing? Good. Well, I'm building where? Uh, Main Street in Butler? No. No, I do not. Okay. Sorry about that. I mean, I, again, I, I might have the wrong number, but uh, I don't know if you can help me out. I don't know yep. if you have any other commercial real estate. I, I'm just I'm going through a 1031 exchange no. with a partner of mine. I do not. I All do right. not. No worries. Sorry about that. Have a great day. Uh, okay, bye. Goodbye. Scott, looking to meet you there. I'm excited. Thank you for uh, buying the ticket. I appreciate you, man. I'm excited to meet you uh, on Monday. It's going to be awesome. Um, it's going to be a good event. I'm, I'm flying in Sunday night. 
and have some night. I'm gonna have a dinner with some family. And uh, then uh, we're gonna have an awesome event. Looking forward to meeting you, Scott. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna have some fun. I don't even know what I'm gonna talk about. You know, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about on Monday, but it's gonna be great. Hello, Glenn. Yeah, Glenn, my name is Henry. I was calling you about a building you own on Union Avenue in Middlesex. How you doing? Where? I might have the wrong number, Glenn, but I was calling you about a, a commercial property you own. I don't know. All right. Sorry about that, Glenn. Wrong number. Moving on. Yeah, I haven't, haven't finalized the speech yet, Scott, but I can tell you right now it's going to rock the stage. I have a few different ideas. Too many YouTuber guys edit the calls, then post, not showing the wrong numbers or the bad calls. Keep it coming. Appreciate you, man. We try to show honesty here, okay? We show, like, the real raw footage, the good, the bad, the ugly. We want to show it all. Hi, you've reached Bagel Realty and Development. Is that Bagel? Bagel? Kind of weird. What kind of name is that? Come on now. That doesn't sound like a strong business name. Again, press any key to continue. Let's make it happen, people. Let's see what we can make happen in the next 20 some odd minutes, 23 minutes. We're going to try to get some hot leads going here. Sizzling hot leads. Hello, Maria. Hello. Yeah, hi. I was looking for Maria, the property owner of a building on Daniel Road in Fairfield. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. I can hear y'all. I appreciate the confidence, Scott. I appreciate that. I just got a couple different topics in mind, and I haven't decided which way we're going to go. Have not figured out the way I would like to go yet. We'll figure it out. Cole says, best part about seeing, seeing how even as a seasoned caller, you get hung up on, have your credibility questioned, get met with attitude and resistance. Yes, sir. All freaking day, every day. Okay? All freaking day, every day. And guess what we pursue? Hello, John. Hello. Yes. Yeah, John. My name is Henry. I was calling you about a building you have on Third Avenue in Newark. How are you doing? All right. Hey. I'm doing great. Thank you. So I was giving you a call because I run a small investment company locally, and I'm going through a 1031 exchange with a partner of mine. And uh, I was just calling to see if you'd be. Uh, I just was curious if you'd be totally yeah, against selling the building. We're, we're actually, yeah, we're actually in the process of building a affordable housing project there. Oh, nice, nice. Do you happen to have any other buildings okay. you might be open to selling? No, I mean, not. No, we're building more. We're using all our property for building. Oh, nice. Okay. And if I'm just curious, right? Like, you know, look, I'm probably a smaller, a smaller fish uh, here uh, in right. this conversation. But uh, and if I happen to have something I might be open to selling in Newark, you know, land-wise that you could develop, is that worth your time? Uh, right now we're, you know, money's tight in the government, so it's tough to get these projects for affordable housing done. So, I know, uh, you know, I don't want to kind of crazy, yeah. but yeah, but uh, right now we got a, a couple of, uh, you know, buildings for buildings. So, uh, but you know, the market right now, you know, the money is not coming in from the government to pay a lot of these things. So that's where we're cautious of moving further. In. I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, okay. So you don't have any parcels you might be open to selling or anything like that? Or any buildings? No, or anything? no, okay. we're, everything, no everything's 
being used. Oh, it's okay. All right. All right. I appreciate you, so you, John. Thank you. Day. You too. Bye. Bye. Listen, man, you, you know, we're probably not going to be able to do much with that, so we're going to move on. We are going to move on. That was the weirdest thing I've ever experienced in my life, okay? I appreciate you guys still staying in tune, okay? Because you know I'll do my absolute best to get back online. But every single one of my screens, by the way, every single one of them, which I have four up right now, every single one of my Google Chrome you know, pages here, just shut down. Every single one of them. That was the weirdest thing. Yeah, anyway, I just disappeared, Lucas. That was a magic trick, okay? Hello, I am back. What is up, y'all? Sorry about that. Appreciate you guys staying on. I know a bunch of people just jumped off and I just, that was a magic trick. Okay. I was just going to be right back. All right, guys, listen, like, um, that got me kicked off here, but I'm going to do a few follow-up calls real fast. Okay. I'm going to do some follow-up calls. Um, just because I was kicked off the dialer and, um, yeah, that was really strange. Sorry about that. Um, Let's uh, let's rock and roll today. Let's uh, let's see if I can get any freaking hot leads out of my follow up. Notice you don't really push if they say wrong number. Why not push so much just just to move on? Yeah, look, um, it depends on how I'm feeling, right? Like obviously on live streams, I you have to understand. I don't have time to waste and try to push for every single one of them, right? Um, just to be honest, right? Like I, I, my, we have so much stuff where like some people I'll ask and some people I don't, should I, by the way, should you ask every single time? hundred percent you do. Do I ask it a hundred percent of the time? No, I don't. Right. And I, I need to work on that. You know, I appreciate you calling me out, Lucas. It's okay. I, I get to work on that, but I, I just, I don't ask it every single time. It's just sort of, I kind of feel it out. You know, I've done, you know, million cold calls and it's like, you know, some, I feel good about some, some people I don't know. And plus you can tell on some of these people that like, they're just um, the, vo the you know I look at the the first three numbers the zip code in the in the phone number and if it's out of state like what are the odds they actually have something that I, I'm actually gonna be able to make money on but anyways that that's what I look for let's um let's quickly move on to some follow up calls here people thank you for tuning in by the way after Google Chrome decided to absolutely just leave me hanging so uh, thank you for that I appreciate it. You guys are my loyal fans, my true fans. That means the world to me. You ready for this one? I got a good one. Here we go. Here we go. This is going to be a good one. We're doing some follow-up calls now. Hello, Henry. Luke, how are we doing? Okay. So um, I was talking to my partners. Um, I've ran the numbers a thousand times. We'd like to get this deal done at 1.6. Okay. 1.6, 300 grand down. 
Okay, I'll, I'll talk to my partner. Okay, I really like to get this done. I love the building. I'm familiar with everything. We'll be, you know, we'll uh, we'll move we'll move as fast as we possibly can. But let's try to get it done at one six. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Luke. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. So I just uh, we've been negotiating on this deal nonstop, back and forth. I had it locked up at one eight. The numbers didn't pencil at 1-8 because he said the, the leases were set up in a certain way and they actually weren't. So I got in the contract, but down a deposit and um, then I had to kill the deal because the numbers didn't add up, you know, did not add up. And I was obviously very upset about it, um, but I just came back to make him an offer. Uh, okay. Hey, Henry, love these calls. Tuning in from Toronto. What's up, Toronto? How are we doing? Any suggestions on good softwares to use in Canada? There's CoStar, but if you have something else, happy to hear from you. Yeah, there's like a, there's some other software which I'll have to find out. A lot of people from Canada actually ask me questions about it, and I'm not a huge like I have a bunch of people that I know in Canada. I'll have to ask. Uh, I don't remember it off the top of my head, but I know there's like two softwares that people use in Canada. Um, I'll try to get some information for you, my friend. Um. If you want to email me at the info at Henry Eisenstein.com account, I will uh, try to get you the information. Let's see if I can get this guy to freaking sell me his deal. These are some follow-up calls real quick. Let's see if we can make some money today, people. You got it. Of course. I got you. Hello? Yeah, hi. I was looking for Segunda. Oh, sorry, Segunda's not here now. Oh, he just stepped out. Sorry, talk to Segunda, right? Yeah, I was, yes. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice day. Thank you. They don't really speak good English, and uh, the owner is not home, so probably not going to win that one. But I will. Uh, I'll call him back again. I'm looking for good follow-up calls here that I can make some offers on for you guys to hear. That's what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for good deals that I can make offers on so you guys can hear me do it. And uh, let's see if we can make something happen here. This deal right here is a 124 unit building, by the way. Morning, Barton. I was looking for Jamie Holler, please. Speaking. Hi, Jamie. My name's Henry. I was calling you about a building you have on Hackensack Street in Woodridge. How are you doing? Good, and you? Good. I'm going through a 1031 exchange with my investment fund, and I was just calling a few of the other property owners locally. And I was just curious if uh, you know if you think that the um, the ownership would be open to hearing an offer. I don't believe so, but if you'd like to send a letter of interest or an email, I can pass it along. Okay, great. What would be your email? Yeah. Got it. Okay. And well, then I'll put an LOI together um, and see what we can do. Thanks. Bye. Okay. On to the next. Let's see here. What will be a good one for you guys? I'm just ripping through my follow-up list right now, by the way. Thank you for asking questions. It always makes this more fun. Do you save all these numbers in your phone or do you use another or do you use another phone number? Um, I just have them in my CRM. So I'm scrolling through my CRM system right now to figure out who I would want to call that you guys would find interesting. Um, I put everything in my CRM. I don't save a lot of phone numbers unless it's like a super hot lead and I want to buy their property. Then I save their phone numbers. Um, but most numbers I do not save. Uh, yeah. And by the way, cause I have like 7,000 contacts. So it's like, I cannot save more numbers at this point. Um, let's see what this guy says real fast. Here we go. We made this guy an offer of five and a half million dollars. I'm waiting to hear back. Hey, Melvin, Henry Eisenstein again. How you doing? 
this? Henry Eisenstein with a major an offer for five and a half million on Sylvan. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wanted to call you back to, for two things. One, I'm still working on finding you a good uh, a good uh, couple of properties for um, you on the development side. I actually just spoke to a guy with a 57 unit development, possibly. Um, looks pretty good, and the numbers seem pretty good. Um, okay. Other than that, did you have a time to look over the letter of intent? See if we can make something happen together. Just not interested right now. What's the number that would get you interested? I don't know. What'd you say? I really don't know. I really don't know. Do you think this is something where, like, if we got to a different number, that it would it would change your mind, or? If you got a, a 1031 to move some money into or what? Like what, what would actually get you to consider it? You know, I, I haven't even thought about it. I'm, I'm in the middle of a couple jobs. Yeah. Uh, I'm really not interested in uh, this transaction. Uh-huh. Okay. So it's not really a number thing. It's just that uh, you're busy with your other deals. Yeah. I have two big jobs and some houses. Gotcha. Is there a and look? I obviously I know you get calls all the time, Melvin. Right? You get calls all the time. You own a lot of product. Um, is there a property you have that you'd even remotely consider selling at this point, or are you just too busy to even deal with it? You know, all the properties are doing well on um, developing. I know, I know. I remember from the last conversation, you're doing great on the development side. So, is it better that I just send you development deals, and then we can just you know help you buy more deals like that? I'm up to my neck in uh, developing. Uh, I'm, what I'm support can I give you, my friend? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't like to hear that you're up to your I, neck in deals. Yeah, I have two big deals, and uh, I'm busy with those. I really can't afford to buy another property. Got it. So well, it doesn't make sense I, to try I, to move some money on the other side? I'm just trying to get a better understanding. That's all. You know, if someone's just not interested, it, it's just a, just keep push and push, but it's it's not going to make any sense. No, listen, I, 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 I think a buyer has to be motivated, a seller has to be motivated. I agree with you. you. Know, it's it's got to be in his uh, lexicon. You know, he's got to want to do it. I 100% agree not, with you. 100% agree. You know, if somebody on the outside pushes, it's going to make it less favorable. Sure, sure. I've been on both sides. I know. I, I've been anxious to buy something, and I went over to the uh, seller, and that soured him, made it worse. Yeah. Well, listen, I definitely you know, don't want to. I'm not here to push gotta, your. I'm not here to push come, It's got to come from that person. Of course. Okay. Of course. Well, listen, Melvin, you've always been very kind and I appreciate it and very direct. Um, so thank you for that. I will, uh, I'll will just keep you in mind if I have another deal and I'll throw it your way. I know you're crazy busy right now, but you know, if that ever changes, uh, we'll touch base again. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. We'll call it a day. I mean, listen, guys, it's like, you, you know, not every single person's ready to do a deal this second, right? Not every single person's ready to do a deal this second. Uh, I'm going to call this guy back. This guy wants to do some crazy, ridiculous financing um, on his deal. You ready for this? Be, this is going to be a weird, weird. Hi, Henry. What's up, Ed? How are we doing? Good. Uh, did you come up on some numbers? Yeah, so I was looking at the leases, um, and I'm just waiting for my partner to get back to me with the underwriting. Um, yeah. But, I mean, look, you know, based on what you're getting, by the way, um, you know, income wise, your net net looks like it's only around a hundred thousand bucks. Okay. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little over. Um, what I did was I was able to raise the leases and also put in increases for the next two years. I saw that. I saw that. And yeah, and um, they're all willing to uh, open for a service contract to sign. You know, for um, do, doing the services around the building, and and I think I, I paid the taxes. You know, out of the sixty two thousand. So that's separate. You know, you'll be getting money in for your expenses, which I never did before. I mean, how much? Mo oh, hold on. So, how much money did you allocate to have them paying for expenses? I, I, I had I, I, I lowballed it at about five six hundred. 
each a year 200 in this 250 in the spring 250 in the fall every single every single tenant is gonna every single one has to put in according to their square footage and that's the way i put it so okay. but I, I didn't even see that in the leases i was going through oh, it's, it's, it's on the front of every page it says plus service contract when it's i i didn't know how you wanted to work or where it so i left it open i know but, but uh, so what i'm trying to understand though is that when you have it listed hold on let me go to your email i'm sorry hold on one second when you have these leases here okay which i'm looking at right now right okay <laughs> Uh, you have plus service con like so. How is taxes a service contract? Taxes on the, the taxes are paid by the owner through the rent. I understand. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's how I did it. I pay the taxes through the rent. That's part of my expense. I understand, but typically, what you do is you have all the tenants share a percentage of the overall expenses of the building, right? So they would share. Let's just say the overall expenses for the building are sixty thousand dollars, right? You take right. sixty or seventy grand, whatever the total expenses come to, and divide it out into the exact percentage of the square footage, like you're talking about, right? Well, so, what I did was I, I I did a little differently. I allow I put it into the rents. I mean, and I, and that's how I would I would get my money for the utilities, and and then I I would give it to the tax person as a, a part of my expense. I'm not, you see? see how you did that? I don't understand. Well, I would, when I give somebody a, a, a lease, say their lease is for $1,000, all right? Well, it should be $1,000. That's without paying any of the service contract. So you have to come up when the leases are, you know, now is the time when they're all done. They still know they owe the service contract. So you could come in and say it's 300 two times a year. So it's 600 from the, a normal renter. But the guy who's renting one room, you're not going to charge him 600 for the year. And the, the guy who's renting all the space, the big guy up in front, you're not going to give him the regular price. So it's a 300. He's got to pay a little more because he has more, more. But I'm more saying, I, of course, I'm saying, but like again, if you're doing the math, you have 60 to $70,000 a year. Right. My highest was 62, 68. I understand. But I'm saying like a bank is going, and I'm saying I have to allocate for a vacancy percentage, a repair percentage and a management percentage, which is not being allocated in your, in your. Well, that would be in a service contract. Well, how is that a service? How is that a service contract? I just well, think. Maintenance, you're... any kind of maintenance, whether it be electric, gas or plumbing is in a service contract, plowing, landscaping. Um, Where did you? But I'm saying you did not outline that specifically in in the lease. So I left it open, but that's I explained it to each one of the tenants. That's what the service contract would entail. Now you know there is in the lease. If you look at the taxes, there's a clause in there that says when my taxes go up uh, in, uh, indiscriminately or, or uh, on, uh, at any time that they have to shift per square footage. You look into the leaf. It says yeah, that. No, no, I see that part of it. Um, so, but look, I would love to see you collect from the tenants a um, a, a uh, you know a quarterly amount of the service contracts to show that every tenant agrees, right? Well, I'm going to be here. What I would do is, if you break it for you a part of the due diligence. We should come in and, and do that with each one of the tents. Uh huh. Okay. That's what I was told by Henry we should do. That that's who that's who I am. That's that's me. I'm Henry. Yeah. Okay. So now you we talked about that one time about a month ago. Yeah. When you told me about the idea about doing it, and I I, I implemented. It. Okay. Great. No, look, I, I I get it. I'm glad you're doing it. I just want to show proof that they are actually willing to pay it. That's the big thing. That's all. Wait, I'm trying so to say. the building is. I'm going to be here for a year and a half. That's what I want. And if you buy it, if the other guy buys it, I'm probably going to get out of here sooner. Yeah. But uh, if you bought it, I'd help you along with it. There's no reason why with your people, you know, with, with what's left in here, it's um, tomorrow, Monday, I have to meet a guy that's going to come in, a contractor. He wants one parking space. He's sort of space ready. He wants to take one of my, I have two spaces left in the warehouse. He wants to take the second final space 
and a parking. I'm gonna charge you a thousand dollars a year or a month. A thousand dollars a month. Okay. Go the space, the warehouse space, yep. which is probably, I'll have to give it to you right now. I'm standing right in front of it. Two, four, six, eight, and four. And by 16. Yep. So okay. that's going to be about 700. Maybe I'll, I'll get about 900. I'll say 1,000, but we'll probably settle on like 9, 950. Yep. You know, and that's like for the car, for the truck, you probably have a small truck. Yep. Or a van. And he, so that, so that's listen, if, if we were, look, if we were able to, um, let's just say we did a deal at 1.6, $1.2 million down or something close to that number. I saw, I'm waiting to hear back from my analytics team and my partner about numbers where we can actually come up with a number. But if we did $1.2 million down, you held a seller's uh, a note in the second position. Two years might not be enough. We might need you to hold it for a little bit longer. Two and, we, and a half years, 30 months. It, it would be somewhere between probably, th I mean, ideally we do three to five, but maybe three years, maybe three years, right? And maybe we obviously have the ability to pay you off sooner if interest rates go down, right? The problem is with interest rates so high, it just makes it tough, right? Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm willing to work with you, but can I get something like the first month and the last month and do at the signing? No, no. So remember, you're going to get 5% on your money, okay? So if you oh, give okay, us 400 okay. grand, okay. I'm going to pay okay. you 20 grand a year is my yeah. what I'm Okay. I think it's going to be two years, maybe a little longer. Yeah, two to three, maybe three years, right? Like it would be like 20 grand a year for three years. And at the end of that, we'll give you a balloon payment, right? Um, but we'll do $1.2 million down, which obviously you're going to put a couple bucks in your pocket here too. Um, but look, let me uh, let me try to see if I can run those numbers and see if that's, if that's something I can make sense of doing. Um, I just got to, the, the problem is that on that $1.2 million, again, with interest rates as high as they are, my interest rate's probably going to be somewhere in the freaking eights, eight and a half percent. I know. I'm just saying, you know, right now it's eight and a half percent. It's ridiculous. Yeah, right? yeah that's, that's Thank you, Mr. President. I know. Exactly. Hopefully, uh, you know, things change soon. So, look, um, with all that being said, let me see what I can do. I'm going to try to get you an offer as soon as I can. I'm not trying to delay on purpose, um, but just bear with me for a minute, all right? And listen, I don't, again, I'll, I'll try to get as strong of a number if I can. Listen. Okay. Just one thing you could do for me. Um, yeah. if, if you were going to move forward, yep. Uh, just do you to, just to contact or, uh, or Joe to contact my lawyer and tell him that uh, LOI will be coming shortly. Because see, when it comes from me, it's just hearsay. I understand. I understand. Yeah. Okay. I, I got you. And then listen, I mean, look, would it be better for you if I just paid all cash and closed at like 1.3 million? 1.4 uh, million? No, because I got a better offer than that. You know, I'm up to, I'm up to the other offer is a, a one, five, one, 1. 1.55 and, and uh, lawyer fees, which is about 40,000. So I'm very how, is, how is your attorney fee $40,000? For a year of work. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> but yeah. I'm saying, uh, why don't you just take that offer? But how much money are they putting down? Paying the entire note. What do you mean he's paying the entire note? Well, at the closing, he's going to pay the entire note. And there's no, there's no uh, contingency. I'm not understanding. Well, he, he he's paying all at once. That's why he's paying a little cheap. He's got about fifty thousand dollars off because he's paying cash. Yeah, got it. All right, look, let me run some numbers and I'll get back to you ASAP. Okay. Right, I appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 This guy wants. Okay, here's the situation. All right, this guy, this guy is paying. Uh, wants me to offer him 1.6 million bucks. He's willing to hold money in a second position. Okay, so I'd be getting a mortgage for 1.2 million bucks. Okay, 1.2 million dollars is a mortgage, and then he's going to hold a, a second position note of 400 grand. So I'm actually going to come to the table with zero. And then he's going to pay my team a 6% commission or 3% commission. I haven't decided yet on the 1.6. Okay. So it means out of the money he receives, he's going to pay us a commission. So not too bad. I mean, it sounds interesting. The problem is the building. I don't know if I want the building, right? Because the building is, let me do some math with you guys. It's like a 13,800 square foot building, 1.6 million bucks. You take the purchase price, 1.6 divided by 13,800. 
square feet, and that's 116 bucks a square foot. Not too shabby, but the problem is that it, it's sort of like a you know industrial flex building, but it's not. It's actually 60%, 70% office, and the remaining part is warehouse. If it was all warehouse, I would have bought this deal freaking a year ago when we got it. The problem is that this guy's getting desperate because nobody wants the deal. Um, and it's also in like a residential area. So it's a little bit weird of a location. So the question is, can we make money on this deal at 115, 116 bucks a square foot in this location? Probably. I think this is maybe the only way we can do the deal. I think uh, I, I, um, I, I think this might make sense for us. Uh, and uh, I'm going to put it in front of a few people, try to see if I can make an extra 100 grand on it uh, with him in these terms. So we'll see. See what we can do. Let me answer some questions and then we're going to wrap up today. Um, need to use my CRM and organize these new to random needs on my phone. Yeah, I know you can't do that. You need your CRM system, man. Am I hiring in Boston? If you're open to joining EXP commercial, schedule a call with me AS, uh, ASAP down below. EXP is the best brokerage to be a part of. Um, you can be a part, you know, like, listen, you get the highest amount of money, lowest caps, you know, just the most support, obviously, because of yours truly. Um, and what CRM system do we use? We use several different CRMs. We use REI reply, follow up boss. Um, uh, and, um, we actually use Reonomy for a couple key things for a CRM as well. Um, but yeah, those are the three softwares that we use along with Mojo Sales for the dialing software. So listen, guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in. This is going to end the live stream. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for following the journey. You are the freaking best. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you guys next week. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Take care, everybody.